Hey everyone, Shebim here and welcome back to another episode of Youth Squad Legends. Right, we're back with Bray Wanderers away at Stoke City. Then we've got um, Southend away in the FA Cup before Newcastle in the semi-final first leg at the Carabao Cup. So without further ado, let's get straight into this game against Stoke. I'm fed up with this game now, so hopefully we'll do okay in this episode because I've just played three games off camera and did not do well at all. So hopefully this is the big turnaround for us. However... Let's check fitness on everyone. Bowen and Rafferty need a bit of a, a rest. So Bowen can come out. We'll bring in... We're going to bring in um, Dare Cunningham. And then we'll drop O'Connor back into the cam roll. Rafferty will rest you and we'll bring in... So we've got a few options here. I'm still trying to figure out who's the good ones and who's the not, to be honest with you. But... Um... um... Let's just bring in Brendan Gillespie for now. Don't want to change too much. Boyce, you probably need the game off because you've still got a slight injury. So we'll probably just go with that for now. I mean, it's not great. There's a lot of... Um... Oh, we probably could just get away with playing one. I don't really want to. No, we're not going to. I was going to play one of the, one of the lower rated players. But to be honest, the way it's been going recently, I just want to get some bloody points. So I need to do well. Right. So. We've got O'Connor in goal. Rafferty, Staunton, Johnson, Moran, Gillespie, Ennis... Campbell, O'Connor, Ennis, and then cut him up front. And we've got another game in only two days' time. The player's going to be absolutely knackered by the end of this. Anyway, let's get into it. Pierce Campbell. Down the line again. Gotta be. Yes, finally! Oh my god, finally we've actually got something. It's been the most difficult four and a half, well, three and a half games I've ever played on this bloody game. The form has been non-existent, but finally we get the ball into the back of the net. And hopefully that's going to spark us back into life and that'd be Barry Ennis, didn't it? That is Barry Ennis, isn't it? It looks like him. No, it's Moran. The right back, Ian Moran. We needed that so badly. Hopefully that's going to spark our form back in because we have struggled. This team has been dead the last few games. No pace, no movement. First touch been awful. And now hopefully we're turning things back around. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just... I... I mean, a lot of that's my terrible defending, don't get me wrong, but... I just, I just don't know. I don't know what I can say. I really want to just hammer Stoke. Let's just get like another five goals and just... Well, that's half time anyway. We're 1-1. One, one. We desperately, desperately, desperately have to win this match. Have to. We have to get our form back going. Oh, fuck this game. Really? Oh, dominating over and over again. We hit the angle. Should have scored an open goal. And then Stoke got up the other side and bloody score. I hate this game so much, you know. I don't know why I bother. A pile of crap. It took bloody so many deflections as well. Screw you, ginger prick. Right, let's keep going. This video is not getting monetized. There's the amount of swearing I put in it. I do apologize. Not for the delicate of ears. Oh my god, we've equalized straight away. Oh, thank god for that. And if it were going to, because that cross by Moran, he's run out of energy, so he ran down that line, completely just stopped because he's got no energy left. And the cross wasn't great either, but... Somehow, we've managed to lock that in. Somehow, and it's, is it, it is Barry Ennis. It's always Barry Ennis. Right, 2-2. Two, 2-freaking-2. Two. Two, we need to win this. We have to. No, it's Pierce said. It's not Barry Ennis. Wow, it's the midfield version. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? This game. This game is shite. See, if that was me, it would have hit the angle. Who even is that? Who's hit that? Somebody called Bauer. Ugh. Well, 3-3 free, free, then. No, 3-2. I'm bloody losing. Absolute disaster. That's four losses in a freaking row. We're nowhere going to get promoted this year. No way. And this game is just mugging me off constantly. Look at that. We did not deserve to lose that game at all. It's absolute crap. Absolute crap, I tell you. Well, at least we've got Trammy. We've got an easier game. And I'm going to have to play a second team, though, because our first team are knackered and not good enough. Not good enough at all. Right, it's going to go over B team. Um, got a couple of players pretty tired, actually, because they've only just played. We'll bring Barry Boyce in. And I want to keep Barry Boyce fresh for the next game, to be honest. So we might keep Moran. Oh, no, I've got another younger. I guess play Kelly for a game. He's only 53 rated, but I was given the game. Um, Gillespie's pretty knackered as well. So potentially we'll give an opportunity to somebody else. Let's give an opportunity to Quinn. You're a right mid. You're quite good. And then either a cam or a striker. We haven't got any strikers, have we? Anyone in uh, a cam role? We've got Stuart down here. Or Deary, 67 rated. Okay, let's go with Deary. There you go. That's a bit more better rink, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got Callahan in goal. Ennis, Kelly, Murphy, Kelly, Clark, Campbell, McGuinness, Deary, Quinn, and Fitzpatrick up front. Hopefully, we'll get the win against Tranmere. We need a strong victory here. We're having to rest our best players ready for the game against Newcastle, which is only two days away. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, this is just stupid. Absolutely stupid. Even this team as well. It's all different players. And the passing is shocking. It's so wayward. It's nowhere near the player. Look at that pass. Straight to their player. And they just cut through us like butter. Um, but it's his fucking south end, for God's sake. Well, we're going to get hammered by Newcastle, then, aren't we? Oh, this game is frustrating the bollocks off me. Oh, we nicked it, though, Quinn. Gotta be. Gotta... Oh, what the hell was that? How am I supposed to win a game when that is what I get? Look at this. Look, it's essentially a penalty. That is... Can anyone explain this to me? What is going on? Have I changed my controls or something? I'm messing... The... I... I... What is the... Oh. The saltiest gamer. Quinn. Oh my god. This is getting stupid now. This is really getting stupid over the top. Finally. What have I got to do to win a bloody game? It's so much bloody effort. Right, McGuinness gets the goal. Philip McGuinness. Probably the most experienced man. Oh no. Bar probably um, Fitzpatrick in the starting lineup. And he did creep at the back post and was able just unmarked to head that ball into the back of the net. There we go. 1-1. One, one, Philip McGuinness, his first goal in the FA Cup, which is no surprise because it's the first FA Cup game. Now we need to win this game. I can't let EA's sick and twisted, strange ways of making your team play bad form for ages win. McGuinness. Oh my god, he's missed. He's bloody missed already. It wasn't even a corner.
<sighs> I don't know if I can even bring myself to play another game, to be honest with you. This is killer. I've got to play fucking replay now as well. I can't be asked for a replay against Southport or South End, whoever the bloody hell I'm playing. What a waste of time. I just don't understand what's happened all of a sudden. This, this team just doesn't do anything. We were sitting so well and doing so well in these games. Now, all of a sudden, we can't pull off the simplest things. It's stupid. Right, let's get into the Newcastle game, then. All right, nice way to break things up. Let's have a look at the Youth Scout report. Or the uh, monthly Youth Squad report, should I say. Owen Gallagher, 87-93. to 93, Perfect. Chris Rafferty, 77-91. to 91, Not much change there, really. Luke Kelly, 80-90. to 90, Nice. Luke White, 66-86. to 86, You're gone. Andrew Curran, 74 to 84. Uh, 88, even. I don't, well, I'm not too keen on you, but you just keep it all you can now. Casey Staunton, 71 to 91. Casey McGuinness, 78 to 94. You could be very good for us. Chris Fitzpatrick, 81 to 87. Ronan O'Carroll, 76 to 94. So it's not too bad at the moment. The centre back is the one I'm most interested in at this point in time, of course. Wait and see how things go. But now it is time to play Newcastle United. And then after that, we'll get our squad. Our youth scout report even, I think. Got a few players being loaned out, which is nice. Uh, I've just basically loaned out everyone who's under 70 rated, um, is what I'm doing. Just try and get them beefed up a little. I've had a few players come back as well, which is nice. Uh, from loans they've been on for a while. So we'll have to have a look at those at some point as well, see if they can... They're even good enough to start playing games for us. But there we go. Newcastle United at home. But based on our previous six games, I am not looking forward to this at all. Right, who's back? O'Connor is now an 80 rated uh, goalkeeper, which is beautiful. Um, O'Connor up front is 76 rated now. Johnson 73. It's looking good actually, isn't it? Right, so who's back? Um, I think Fannin. Who's now 67 rated. We've got Ennis back as well, 66. Which is nice. Got those two back. And a few others are going to unload, which is nice as well. Right. This is our main team, and this is the best one we're going to go with today. And we are going to face off and probably lose heavily against Newcastle. Let's go. Bloody hell. Uh, be typical once again for us to dominate possession and for them just to whack some it in like that. It would really be typical. We're okay at the moment. It was actually saved by looks like O'Connor. Oh, fudge my lumma lumma. Ball into the middle, headed clear. That's going to be it, isn't it? I just... I've not won a game of FIFA in eight games now, I think that is. No, six, seven, I don't know. I really don't know. It's just it's just crap. It really... This team, I don't know what's happened to them. I don't know if there's been an update or what, but they don't seem to have any ability. Had that, that's crap as well. I have more than one shot. I can guarantee you that. I have more than one shot. That's just, it's just not right. In fairness, though, a 0 0 draw against Newcastle is not terrible. It means a score draw away from home will win us the game. But still, I'm just, we need to do better than this. We need to get some form. We need to win a game, for God's sake. It's just not going well at all. Really not going well at all. Um, on the plus side, our scout's back, which is always nice news for me. Right. Donald Rafferty, 70 to 90, will keep you in there. Liam Gillespie, you are gone. Casey Brennan, gone. Casey Quinn, or Kean Quinn, we'll have to keep an eye on you. Donald White, gone. Caffel Kendi will keep you. Ronan Curran will keep you, and Liam McGuinness will keep you. So then these players are really. I don't know, you're okay. Um. No, we won't put any of you in yet. We'll wait and see what uh, what you go more scout-wise. So nothing special this month at all, really. But a transfer off for Jason Fanning. You know what? We're going to accept that, I think. We are going to accept that. I mean, 
He's never really going to break it into our team, so letting him go out to Ajax might help develop into a better player. Right, what are we going to do in the calendar? So I was going to come back for the Newcastle. We're going to have to come for Southend, Leeds and Newcastle, I think, aren't we? So we have to a mid-season a mid -season game. Um, so I'll play Swansea off camera. We'll be back next time. Uh, of course, if you have enjoyed this video, then you're a sick and twisted individual who would love to see me suffer. Um, but it would be nice if you hit that like button anyway. And of course, subscribe if you're new around here. Um, and I've been Chevy Gamer for Edge Watching. I'll see you again very, very soon, if I can bring myself to do it, to play some more FIFA 19. Bye.